McMillan's Montreal with uh, Chef David McMillan of Joe Beef. We're talking gift ideas, and, and you've got knives up the yin-yang. Knife is a cool gift, you know, but don't forget that when you give a knife, somebody's got to give you back a dollar, right? That's, well, why is that? That's what, just what like an that? old superstition. You can't give a knife away to somebody. I can buy you a fancy knife. Yeah. You have to give me a dollar. There has to be a transaction done there. It's an old thing. I like knives. When I was a kid, I started off in this business cooking. I, I had a whole bunch of different knives, and slowly people have stolen them along the years. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I used to have these beautiful carbon knives and uh, all these special knives that I'd collected and stole from people along yeah. my career. <laughs> and, and now I realize that I don't have any more knives, and I've been rebuilding my knife collection. And I'm super into uh, Japanese knives. They're amazing. They're like samurai swords. Is it is it the, the the metal or the way they're sharpened or? That's it. The metal is folded over and pounded down, folded over and pounded down, folded over and pounded down so many times. Okay. So that you'll see there's like a there's a there's a sheen to the blade where you can see the many 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 different layers of how many times it's been folded over and pounded down. Now. There's two websites that are interesting to read about this, these Japanese knives. Right here in Montreal, we have MontrealKnife.com. It's run by a guy called Guillaume. His store is at, it's called Les Mouleurs. It's 1081 Laurier West. Okay, Leslie Chesterman wrote an interesting article on him. You'll be able to see that somewhere online, I guess, if you just Google Les Mouleurs or MontrealKnife.com. I think the article is there. He, it's a museum of knives. It's amazing when you go in there. These are, these are handmade knives. Wow, really? You can tell that there's hundreds of hours in each one of them. It's high end a bit, though. You know? Yeah. The well, this is, this is for the, the serious chef, the serious cook. They're nice gifts. I think they're objets d'art. Yeah. They're gorgeous things. I I just recently had a beautiful black carbon one. Yeah. With a rosewood handle, and it just it, in my hand it feels like a thing of beauty, and it just I just look at a potato. Yeah. And the potato falls apart in front of my knife. <laughs> That's how intimidating this knife is, you know? Wait, don't cut me. I'll split myself. Stay away. It's a little museum of high-end knives. Watch out, though. They go from $100 all the way to $3,000 for a knife.